You know who I trust, Annie? Mm. Not to take you off subject here, Max Johnson. Yeah. I, I just, and we're sitting here and we're in studio and obviously we've got multiple TVs. They just showed the highlight package on the SEC network. And I had multiple people, including some some former NFL quarterbacks that were texting me. And that's not like, oh, I got enough. No, it's just friends that it meant something that they noticed his pocket presence in the game. I mean, you know, I don't really care. Billy Volick. Uh, Billy Volick played a long time in the NFL. Played at Fresno State. At one time had the single game passing record, I believe, in the NFL when he was with the Titans. So God knows quarterbacks. He was actually roommates with Lane Kiffin. He has a single enough. game. He did for, he had like 500 and something yards and uh, a Titan start. Wow. He had okay. for a little bit. He did. So, and actually roommates with Lane. Maybe we need to get him on the show, give some Lane Kiffin stories. There's a good idea. There we go. But he's like, dude, this this kid's pocket. He had no idea it was Brad Johnson's son. He said, this guy's pocket presence is unbelievable for a freshman. I was like, yeah, it's Brad Johnson's son. He goes, well, that makes sense. But still, he said he doesn't have happy feet. He knows where to get in, in the small spaces to get a throw off. You know, and that's something that, that I noticed. Like, you find a way to get into a space, to get a throw off, to help out your offensive line. You don't bail. Now, is he going to do – there was a couple times like, all right, you had a pocket there. That's freshman mistakes. But – to be able to do it like he did at that level and never looked like he was in the swamp. Because even if the fans aren't loud, like the fans part of it is more with the communication part of it. But the stage is still set. The stage is still there. You're still in that stadium. They still play Tom Petty he- heading into the fourth quarter, and he never looked bothered by it. I wanted to go back. I'm, I'm looking. Uh, I got this note in here about the offensive line. There were 44 dropbacks for LSU on Saturday. No sacks, two quarterback hits, four pressures. Now, this is the same offensive line that has had problems. In fact, it's not even the same offensive line because you lost a guy <laughs> in the middle of it. Right, yeah. And yet, they, you noticed very little pressure on the quarterback on Saturday night. Now, I'm not telling you Florida's the best defense in the conference, but they got enough guys up there to give you some problems if you don't block it right. They, but I mean, they led the conference in sacks coming into this game. So, right. I mean, that, that stat is what it is. You can't fake that stat. Their problem has been more uh, in allowing assignments and Yeah, things like yeah. that, rushing yards. But his ability to, to move, I hate to use the word slide because it, you know, it, it, it kind of insinuates that he's just running away from pressure all the time. But it's just the, those little bitty movements. Oh, even that, if it's a clean pocket, Handy, you've got to know where you have to get to to get a throw off, right? And that's what makes the greats the greats. And, you know, to see that as a young player and something you can build on, that that's a big sign. He looks very comfortable it, that, out there. That's, yes. And it's that's not easy to do. That's not easy to do with in the situation that he was in. And we talked about it in the first hour. The arm talent's never going to be confused with TJR Miles. But you can get away, you know, with the arm talent by knowing exactly where you've got to be, where you've got to throw it. Is it going to be a pass that my only my receiver can catch? I mean, you don't have to have the strongest arm in the room to be the best quarterback. Little little touch never hurt anybody. What happened to Taysom Hill yesterday? The the interception that he threw. Yeah. It, do a two-seamer. Too much steam on it, and was it it caroms away, and you end up with the you end up with the interception. Johnson's ability to move is what separates him from from Brennan and Finley. Now I don't know what the, the quarterback situation is going to look like next year or or in the spring, but that's something that he's got that they don't have, and it's not that they can't move at all, but they can't move much. I'm sorry, they just neither one of them uh, can, can move around very much. Now you can compensate for that by getting the ball out of your yeah. hand quicker, and you can work on accuracy and touch and things like that, and get better at it. But he does some things that are unique to him that the other quarterbacks don't have. So, yeah, I, I'm anxious to see him again. I think that he's got a, a world of upside and. I don't necessarily care that he doesn't have the strongest arm in the room. The guy that just won the Heisman Trophy didn't have the strongest arm in the no. conference either. But he knew, uh, and I'm not saying it. You know, right? Uh, yeah, Johnson's so, gonna yeah be, we understand that. Yeah. But but the traits that you see early are encouraging. That's what we're saying. The traits that you see from a young football player to be a great quarterback are starting to show. Now. You're going to have an Ole Miss team that has a full game-length film on him. We'll see how he reacts to that, and we'll react to it as well. 
But that stage, that moment, knowing what you had to get done, your team absolutely had to have something. They had to have an effort that you showed. So it was really good to see from a young football player.